Ladies, we have a problem. <laughs> I'm going to Europe in less than two weeks and I'm going to see Taylor Swift. Yet, I do not have a Taylor Swift outfit. It's okay, because what do I have? Yarn. I was looking online. I thought I wanted something purple, lilac-y. I really like the song Long Live and I really love the Speak Now album. So those are the vibes I was going for, but I couldn't find anything that I really, really liked. I decided to crochet my Taylor Swift concert outfit. I have very limited crochet experience, but I have big dreams. And I think I could do this. The vibe that I'm going for is a Chewon slash Dahyun heart pink crochet top. I think it would look so cute and I have purpley, pinky, swifty-ish colors to make the top with. And if I do not make a cute outfit for the concert, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wear a regular outfit to the concert, which is fine. I'm whatever you want to wear to the concert, you don't have to go all dress up. But I think that if I am able to do this, it will be historic for me because I'm on a crotch time and um, I don't know how to crochet. These are the yarns that I'm using. These four are the same brand. And then this one is a random one that I already had at home. I got my yarn from Michaels and it was a really good deal. It was like buy one, get one 50% off. I think I paid $15 for these four huge skeins of yarn. And I have my 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. I think we're gonna start with light purple. Okay, here you go, girl. Where do I start? I think this is hard because I'm left handed, so I can't hold it like all of the tutorials are going to be showing me. You put it across your fingers, and you take it and you wrap it over the tape. You put it around, and you put it across your finger, and you have two strings here. You put it under, you grab the side of the string, then you put it loop, take another loop, then take another loop, you put it outside the loop, and then you just have. Oh my gosh, wait, fuck, it fucking worked. What the heck? I got a magic ring. Oh my god, wait, that's <laughs> good. And your crochet heart is complete. This is would be my crochet heart, but I definitely messed something up. I think I just messed up the first heart because this is my first heart that I made. And this is the second one. I think I'm going to make seven of these little lilac ones because I think that this is so cute. And then I'll make some of the other colors too. We take a bunch of string and then you do the magic ring. You loop the string around two fingers. You create an X on your hand. Then you wrap the string around the back of your hand just like that. You take your crochet hook, put it under the first string but over the bottom string and lift that up. And then the long piece of string, you put it back through that. Two things on your little hook and then you flip it through the bottom one and this thing right here is the magic ring. All the rest of the stitches that you're doing, you're just doing in the ring. That is where I messed up. And so what I'm going to do is chain two, one, two. And then I'm also going to place three triple crochets inside the magic ring. You chain two, you loop inside the magic ring, chain one more, take the magic ring loop out, chain one, take the second and third loop out, chain one, take the second and third loop out, and then chain one, take the second and third loop out. And that's one triple crochet. And then you do that two more times. Seven mini hearts. This is my medium-sized heart. It looks a little bit frumpy, like it doesn't look perfect, but I feel like since all of it is being sewn together in a shirt, it doesn't actually matter how it looks like. Because you can, like, what is that? It's a heart. Like, you can still tell. So I feel like it's fine. Like, if the other ones that I make turn out better, then I will redo this one. But my god, I didn't realize how hard stitching a second row would be. Because I'm not good at counting stitches. Because I don't know what a double crochet stitch looks like after I've done it. I just know how to do one. Anyway, this one I have. I'm going to make two of them with purple. And then I'm going to make two of them with this pink. Except this pink, I realized, is like thicker than the rest of the yarn. So it's really hard to work with in comparison but it's okay i feel like it should be fine and then i have all of my baby hearts and i didn't tuck in any of the 
tail ends because my friend said that I could probably just sew them in at the end, like deal with that at the end. And I honestly, I'm just too lazy. I have all of my small size hearts done. I'm working on my medium heart. Then I gotta do my big hearts and then we're on to flowers. Like we're already there. I don't know how to make the flowers and I feel like the flowers are gonna be like way harder, but it's okay. I took a break and I went to the gym and I did some cardio and I took a shower and I changed back into the clothes I was wearing before I took a break. I have really gotten, okay, actually, let me not speak too fast. No, yeah, I have. I've really gotten pretty decent. Never mind. No, I haven't. At doing the magic circle, I was gonna say, but I messed that up. Is it a magic circle? Nope, this is also not a magic circle. Okay, I will figure this out though. And I am getting a little bit nervous about whether or not I'll be able to complete this because I really only know how to do basic crochet. Okay, now I got the single one. Medium hearts. Slay! My summer song, I'm thinking, is Wolves by One Direction because when I listened to it today, it made me really happy. I don't want to show you my desk right now, but I will. It's insane. This is my mess every time i'm like i try to clean it up but it gets like this no matter what i do i have all of my crochet things that i finished now that i look at it this heart is actually quite cute right now i have been making flowers well i was making them last night these are my flowers they are not the best to be honest i can't figure out why they're not showing up tighter all of these gaps that are happening here also because the white string isn't staying in a circle it's like getting pulled outwards towards the petals so i know that i'm doing it wrong i just don't know exactly what i'm doing wrong i'm still working on flowers number one the main tutorial that i'm following you're supposed to make three different sized hearts which i finished that and five different types of flowers i'm on flower number one and i want to finish all five types of flowers today so then I can stop crocheting because it's okay at first crocheting was very peaceful and I was like oh this is enjoyable I'm enjoying this I like this but now every time I crochet all I think about is all the other stuff I'm supposed to be doing I definitely think that I'm stressing myself out over a trip but to be honest this is how I live my life even if I was going nowhere I would be super stressed out so it just so happens I'm going on a trip and I'm stressed about that trip so I'm gonna sit here and make some flowers yeah so I don't know how many flowers I need to make I've just been Honestly, I've just been going crazy. <laughs> I've cried every day the past two weekends for various reasons, but this has definitely been one of them. I'm going to set up my tripod. I can film myself making flowers. I, why, what is the point of getting an expensive tripod if you don't use it for anything? Hello, this is a new day. I don't think I recorded anything yesterday, but I did just continue making flowers as one does. So yesterday I made, I finished making the flower number three. So I have, I made six flowers in total for that group. Now I only have two flowers left to make. Before I started making those, I wanted to see how the distribution of all the crochet things I've made so far look right now. So this is it. Can you see that? I think that is pretty zoomed out. But looking at this, two things stand out to me. One, I actually have a lot more than I think I'll actually need. And I don't know how that happened. And then two, I don't think I have enough pink. Like I have a lot of lilac, probably the most lilac. And then I have some dark purple. And I feel like this one being really big, this big heart, really makes the dark purple, you know, take over. I have a good amount of white. And I don't really love this white color anyway. So I don't think I want to have a lot plus it's it's white it's kind of boring but the pink i don't think i have enough pink and i think the pink is such a pretty color so the last two flowers i'm going to make i'm going to try to make them with pink flower petals and maybe like a white center or maybe i'll do a lilac center and then pink flower or dark purple center because this is pretty so if i have the reverse of this that should go well but yeah that is my idea but this is everything that i have so much some of them are ugly but when you lay them out like this it's nice this is unrelated to taylor swift or this crochet top so i'm sorry to talk about it i decided that i don't really know what i like i feel like i like too many things this online platform is so nice because i can talk about everything i want or anything i want so i like diys and crocheting and i like makeup and i like skincare and i like reading and i like productivity i really like productivity and recently i started liking finance stuff because i am trying to learn things since i never actually was educated on that in school since i was a stem major and i i don't think i took a single business 
class in university, which my bad. Anyway, the point is that I feel like social media is the best place to talk about all of these topics. At the same time, people say that you should only talk about a few topics and they should kind of make sense with each other. And I don't think any, like, one or two of those things make sense together but all of them did not make sense together or like my hobby uh, something that i like to do is starting new things so starting to crochet starting to journal starting to scrapbook starting to write a children's book starting to play an instrument all of these things and that's like all different audiences i guess i think i'm going to let go of all of that thinking and just make whatever video i want to make and then see what happens like see if people actually like it and if it is interesting to anyone especially with youtube and tiktok i feel like i've fallen into this trap where i am like oh well i have to post about skincare and makeup stuff because it's what i've been doing and it's my niche and when other people look at it that's my niche on tiktok that might be true more so but on youtube i feel like it's free reign being my channel's dead and that makes me really excited like every day i come up with a new idea of something i want to do I started sewing the crochet pieces together basically after you have all of your pieces yesterday I laid them all out in the pattern that I wanted and then today I'm using this white thread this tiny needle right here that my mom told me I should have used the bigger needle because it'll be easier I, I've already started and it looks like pretty nice from the front right like it looks it looks good from the back is just a mess of white thread this part is actually really easy like you don't need to know how to sew or anything i was doing it earlier while watching a k-drama but i basically just look at the picture on my phone and see which of my crochet pieces is supposed to go next on it i add it to the rest of my mix and i start needling between the different stitches i wish there was a good way to show you there are just a lot like i stitch all along there to connect the flower to the heart and then i've stitched all along here any point of connection and i'm also using this to hide all of the ugly parts of the flower like these two petals of the purple flower that are kind of tucked behind were the uglier parts whereas these three petals look kind of nice mm -hmm. 